Turnout across Tennessee has been particularly strong this year. One in six registered voters have already cast a ballot. But as 10 News reporter Grace King shows us, those long lines can impact who is able to vote. Turnout is what will affect the outcome of the election. Across East Tennessee, the polls have been busy. Some people have waited an hour or more to cast their vote. It wasn't no problem for me because I feel like this is the most important election that we've ever had. Because of COVID-19, some polling locations like Downtown West let fewer people in at a time. People are working as quickly as efficiently as they can, but you know, there's only so much space that these election commissions have. Lines can have a disproportionate impact on who votes who has more time versus not, and to what extent that means that people may or may not have stay in line to cast their ballot. And that that also can have an effect on who actually shows up to the polls and who actually stays at the polls. I'm Grace King reporting. If your schedule is flexible, the Secretary of State suggests avoiding peak hours at the polls. Those are right when they open around lunchtime and when people start to get off of work. Early voting in Tennessee started last Wednesday. As of Saturday, more than 42,000 people in Knox County have cast a ballot either by voting early in person or by mail. That's about 15% of Knox County's active voters, and that data doesn't include votes cast today. Every county in Tennessee has recorded more more votes already cast compared to this time in 2016. Knox County is up some 6% in Scott County. It's 117% Union County up 121% and Cock County 92%. Again, those numbers include absentee and in person votes. You can vote early through October 29th and election day is November 3rd.